Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose, and today I decide to teach you how to create a panoramic image uh, using your Stalker game and Photoshop uh, version CS, CS2, CS3, CS4, and the newer versions that will come out after CS4. So, you can use the same method to create uh, panoramic images at, at any stalkers games and uh, you can use the same methods to create the panoramic images even in real life so just I just decided to use the stalker and let's say I was a plain stalker and I find out that I like some areas. It was pretty impressive in the lighting and and the dynamic weather change changes. And I decide, you know, as a professional photographer myself, uh, not the professional, I would say amateur, but trying to get into the professional level. Um, we can see this in real life and in the games I can see some stuff so uh, I decide to take that pictures and not only take the one but take the panoramic image all the way in 360 so to show the other people uh, uh, how amazing the game is so and the graphics so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the Photoshop CS4 and the Stalker uh, Call of Prepaid, which just came out. Uh, I just got the game, so it's brand new and the graphics are amazing. But unfortunately, I'm gonna use my ATI AMD Radeon X800 256 megabyte video card that doesn't support the DirectX 9C and a little and doesn't support this even shaders 3.0 a little bit suck this is my backup card and I purchased that back in 2007 and I'm selling right now my GTX 275 and I will uh, GeForce GTX 275 and I will get myself hopefully a AMD uh, 5850 um, HD video card which is going to support the Windows 7, DirectX 11 and the supercomputing 4.0 um, so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and open my stalker game and by the way I'm using today Morose video capture program to capture this tutorial and this little program software was developed by me it, give, it gives you the ability to capture the game to capture your screen to capture whatever you see in your monitor with the last per, uh, as you can see right now I'm capturing this tutorial and on my E8400 uh, clocked at the stock speed which is 3 gigahertz I am not even clocking to 4 gigahertz as I used to running the this CPU but just to show you and I have the DDR3 uh, at f uh, 4 gigabytes and Windows XP service pack 3 and plenty of hard drive space about more than 1 terabyte and as you can see it's 30, 39% as the top and I'm running Photoshop and Stalker in the background so my little Morse video capture doesn't take that much to capture the tutorials and even uh, to capture uh, your game a uh, gameplay while you're playing your game your favorite games to share with the people it takes about a uh, five to nine percent of the CPU power and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and open the stalker and I'm gonna show you how to set up your stalker and um, I'm sorry I'm gonna use the Russian version because I like to play in um, uh, real stuff because it's uh, the developers from Ukraine developed the stork developed the stalker and I like the originals it's a little bit I, f I found it a little bit different as sounding in English so as you can see as you can see that okay let's yeah as you can see that I found nice uh, place and it's 
the the video is going to be a little bit lagging why because when you try to make a screenshot it's better to set the graphics to the max so you're just gonna take a screenshot so you're not gonna play the game so for the best results so I set this game to 1600 by 900 uh, uh, the ultra dynamic lighting and everything is set to max unfortunately this card is a little bit sock and doesn't support the DirectX 9C so an even 11 and 10 so you don't have the eye candy graphics but it's still pretty cool it's still doing the good uh, image, an impressive image. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, I have the uh, interface, and I don't want that on my image. I'm gonna click Escape. I'm gonna go to Options, and I'm gonna set uh, maximum what my monitor supports and the card supports. I'm gonna set the full dynamic lighting, and I'm gonna set to ultra light. Ult ultra graphics which is maximum and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to game and I'm gonna uncheck the hair um, crosshair and I'm gonna uncheck the uh, in uh, show the interface and I'm gonna uncheck the show the weapons I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna go escape as you can see I don't have this so now it's perfectly ready for to take the screenshots and we're gonna take a multiple screenshots and bring it to into the panoramic image in Photoshop so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna click F12 and in Stalker by clicking F12 you can make a screenshot in some other games you need to click print screen and go to Photoshop paste your image save your image it's going to be a little bit advanced uh, but I'm not gonna uh, uh, talk about this today so by pressing F12 you can take a screenshot and using your keyboard uh, arrows uh, up left uh, down and right we're gonna use just the right and you're gonna click once you're gonna take the screenshot and probably take it multiple times if you like with a different lighting but for for the first time try to take it with the single uh, click of the F12 at the one angle and then you can manipulate when you're gonna get advanced so F12 and then one click on the right arrow on your keyboard it's gonna bring us to the different angle F12 right click F12 right click F12 right click F12 right click F12 and we're gonna just take the images then you probably can catch the lighting into press a couple more times of 12 to get the 